Today, I'll be explaining the one-way ANOVA table in Stata. On the screen, I have the link to the blog where I have the full tutorial on how you can engage the one-way ANOVA procedure using Stata. So what is ANOVA? It simply means analysis of variance, a statistical method in which the variation in a set of observations is divided into distinct components. In ANOVA, we use the term residuals. So what are residuals? It's a difference between the observed value of the dependent variable and the, the predicted value y hat. Each data point has a residual, and the sum and the mean of these residuals are equal to zero. The total sum of squares is simply the explained sum of squares plus the residual sum of squares. So what are explained sum of squares? These are variations in the dependent variable that you can attribute to your model or to your regression. While the residual sum of squares, also known as the unexplained sum of squares, are those variations that you cannot attribute to your model but only to random forces. In my example today, my dependent variable is a continuous variable which is in line with the ANOVA assumption I'll be using prices in US dollars. While my explanatory variable is a categorical variable, also in line with ANOVA assumption and is a two-group categorical variable. Before you run your ANOVA, you might want to see the distribution of your categorical variable in your data set. My categorical variable in this case is states, two group states, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. The frequency here captures number of observations in your data set. I have a total of 410, 331 for New Jersey, 79 for Pennsylvania. Percentage captures the percentage of each category's observation to total observation. So New Jersey has 331, giving it 80%, while Pennsylvania has 79, giving it 19.27. Why the cumulative tells you the total accumulation of the two groups and percentages in the data set. Again, I have the link to the blog where I have the full notes. Please link it up so that you can actually understand in full detail how you can engage the one-way ANOVA procedure in Stata. The syntax for running the one-way ANOVA in Stata is one way, Y variable, X variable. So in my case, I have one way, P, fries, and state. So once you do that, you have your ANOVA output. So let me just quickly explain each of the headings on this output table. Source tells you the source of variations of the dependent variable y. So I have two groups here, the between groups and the within groups, generating the sources of variation in the dependent variable. Next, I have SS. SS simply means sum of squares. The first one is the explained sum of squares, those variations you can attribute to your model or your regression. And the second one is the within group, which is the only explained sum of squares that you can only attribute to random forces. So I have 3.78 that cannot be accounted for by my model. The degree of freedom I have here for the between group is 1. In this case, I have two categories, so it's a n-1 distribution, so 2-1 minus gives me 1. For the within group, degree of freedom is 391. Remember, I have 410 observations, out of which 17 has mating values, giving me 393. And it's an n minus k distribution for the within group, leaving me with a 391 um, degree of freedom, that is 393 minus 2, 2 being the number of restrictions in this uh, model. So in total, I have 392 uh, degree of freedom. MS here indicates mean sum of squares, and you can obtain that by dividing the sum of squares by their respective degrees of freedom. Once you do that for these two groups, you obtain, you obtain their respective mean sum of squares. Next, I have the F statistic. The F is indexed by two degrees of freedom. I have one here, which is the degree of freedom for the numerator, and the 391 is that for the denominator. The F statistic of 63.3 of 63.43 is also very significant, giving me the evidence that um, a pair of these uh, means actually differ from one another. In this case, I only have two groups. So that means between these two groups, their means are not the same. So I can reject the null hypothesis. In fact, I'm rejecting the null hypothesis. And the probe value is, is exactly zero. 
which is far, far below my 5% level of significance. So this also gives me the confidence to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. At the extreme corner here to the right, I have the ballet statistic. The ballet statistic uh, tells you whether you have homogeneity among or between your variances of your, uh, in your data set. In this case, I have 0 0.130. And this is one of those instances where you will not want to see a significant uh, test statistic. Because once your ballet test for equal variances is significant, that means that your one-way and over output, the result may not be taken too seriously. So it's always good when this statistic is not significant as it is right now. In Stata, you can also generate the summary statistics in addition with the ANOVA output at the same time by typing the syntax one way, Y variable, X variable, comma, tab. That syntax will generate the summary statistics where you have the mean of the, of the, of the, of, of, of the uh, indicators or the groups in your data set and their respective standard deviation. In this case, the mean prices for New Jersey is 0.94 cents, while the mean prices for Pennsylvania is 0.84 cents. And their respective standard deviations are also shown in addition to their frequency table and their frequencies. And below that, you can also see the ANOVA table, exactly what I showed you earlier. So with one command, you can actually get this table. So I'll wrap up this tutorial by telling you 12 things you need to do if you want to engage the one-way ANOVA procedure. Number one, always state your null and alternative hypothesis. Always tell the readers what your study is all about. Your dependent variable must be a continuous variable. Your explanatory variable must be categorical in nature with at least two groups. The group members must not overlap. You have to check for outliers in your data set by using the summary syntax in Stata. You can also check whether your data is approximately normally distributed. You can use the histogram to check that out. You can also check whether your variances are homogeneous across or between your groups. The ballet statistic can give you a clue as to that. Then you can go ahead to run your ANOVA procedure. Run your post hoc text if you have any significant relationship. Report your F statistic, degree of freedom, and any T statistic that is significant. Finally, summarize your findings. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos from Crunch Econometrics.